Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up? What's up? This is Winning Cures Everything. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And we are back. That's right. It is college football season. This is week one. This is the Gambling Picks Show. I could not be more excited about this. Good gracious. This is why we play the game. This is why we play the game. The whole reason we do this thing is to do this segment right here. Where we can make some picks, play that sweet music. This gives us the most maximum exposure to make a fool of ourselves. You got that right. To publicly put out there gambling picks for the world to critique, to call his names, to mock, to ridicule. And they get to see how much we win or lose. If you are watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments. We would like to know what your picks are this week. Going forward, probably week three or so, we're going to start setting it up where you go 5-0. Or maybe, did we do 7-0 last year? I don't remember. I think we did did. 5-0. If you go 5-0 against the spread, we're going to let you call into the show. We're going to make it easy for you. But we're not doing that just yet. We're going to wait about three weeks until everybody can figure out what these teams are. We got to get in a routine of doing our own show yes. before we can start calling other folks in. You got That's that. That's right. the most important thing, really. You that's have the got truth. That. You got that. Not right. trying to give you a disadvantage, but. But that's all we're saying. But we, we would, our own we would stuff like out. to hear your thoughts on the week. Tell us what your picks are below. Let us know why you're picking those. And here is what we're doing for this season Chris and I are going to be having a, a uh, uh, competition. We'll okay. call it a friendly competition. We had one last year, but we just picked games. We, we were just doing it based on percentage. Last one year. win, equal to win. One loss, equal to loss. A push did not matter. This year, all we're doing is talking profits. We have a betting spreadsheet set up over at winningcureseverything.com. If you go up and click on the gambling pick section, you can see exactly what picks we are going to make going forward every week. And you can keep up with it for the entire season. You'll see exactly how much money, how much juice, what our payout is, how much we're up for the season, how much we're down. And you can base it, if you want to follow us, you just base it on whatever your unit is. So ours, we are starting with a bankroll of $5,000 each for the season. Now, if you're a big money hustler, you may bet way more than that. I'm with you. I get it. But for us... A and unit? if you're just a rec guy and you want to bet way less than yeah. that, if Look, you want to bet betting five is a bucks, very personal thing. Yes, if you want to bet fifty bucks a game, if you want to bet, you know, a thousand a game, if you want to bet five bucks a game, that's up to you. That's where you set your own units. So you do your own thing. We're just telling you what we're going to work with. So for before this three and two, if we're picking five games, four and one, really good week here. If you bet a lot on one game, bet a little on the other games, one in four, you could come out making a profit. And you actually get to see that. Yeah. I have no idea how this is going to work. And I also ran the question by Gary when we were workshopping this, which is what happens if one of us runs out of money? Because that's not above happening. Well, then you you take out a... A loan from the casino. Okay. And you just keep digging yourself further into the hole. All right. And and we'll I know I know some people I can get I can get a loan from. There you go. That's it. Well, I was saying just from just from the casino, just from me. Uh, if you want to make some picks, of course, our football pick'em contest is up and running. We've got some fabulous prizes from Tunica, Mississippi. They will continue to get better as the season goes along. Uh, first week, of course, we've got. A Gateway to the Blues t-shirt, a really nice Tunica, Mississippi golf uh, marker set. We've got uh, Winning Cures Everything shirts. All of this in a prize pack. Uh, you can read it all over on the gambling, uh, at the Football Picks Contest site. It takes you three over. minutes to fill out. It's free. Yeah, it's you, super easy. If you win, you get bragging rights. You get to tell people about it. And, and you're going to get a little bit of free swag. Yeah, and you get two free tickets to the Gateway to the Blues Museum That's whenever right. you go down to Tunica. And all that kind of stuff. We're also going to have casino giveaways throughout the season, etc. So make sure you're on the newsletter. Make sure you sign up this week. Get in the picks contest. We're going to read out the winner. We're going to talk about them on the show each week. It's going to be a good time. Tunica, Mississippi is the presenting sponsor of the show. 
Go check them out, tunicatravel.com. They've got six wonderful sports books. I will be visiting probably four of them this weekend, probably two on Friday, two on Saturday. It's going to be a good time. If you come out, come out and say hello. I will be wandering around watching Oregon-Auburn, hoping for a Ducks miracle, uh, all sorts of different stuff. So come out, tunicatravel.com. Go see which one you want to go to. I can guarantee right off the bat, I'm going to be at the one at Gold Strike for a little while on Saturday. Uh, and I'm also going to be at the one at Hollywood, at Sam's Town, at uh, Horseshoe. I mean, at, they'll be all over the place. So go check it out for yourself, tunicatravel.com. They bring you the show every week. Let's roll. I got seven this week. Oh yeah, last year we each did seven per week because we're doing it based on money. We're, we're doing a minimum of four per week, but we could do as many as Eight, nine, ten, like whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. I'm doing seven this week that I like. You're doing how many? What, five? Five games, six bets. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm going to start us off because I've got one more than you. Thursday night, Utah minus five and a half. The juice is minus 110. That's a $50 bet to pay out 45-45 uh, or to profit 45-45. It's Thursday night, 9.15 p.m. on ESPN, Lavelle Edwards Stadium in Provo, Utah. Kyle Winningham has won eight straight against BYU with the Utes. They have covered the last three and won straight up in Provo. Tyler Huntley and Zach Moss back means points. They averaged 36 points with both, uh, with both of them, only 24 points without. BYU, terrible at giving up sacks last year. Terrible at giving up tackles for loss. This Utah defensive line is legit. I love the Utes here. I'm taking a minus the five and a half. So my first bet is one where all of the metrics tell me I'm absolutely wrong. Every analytical way of looking at this says Oregon State should cover 14 and a half. But I'm going with the fighting Gundys. Oklahoma State. Going out to Oregon State, I don't like taking road favorites. Sounds like a disaster in college football, but I'm doing it anyway. I got $50 on um, Oklahoma State minus 110. Minus 110. And the line is 14 and a half. I I think they're going to cover that. Oregon State has been bad for a long time. Are they getting better? I don't know. Probably. All the metrics say they're getting better. Like, I don't know. I know that Oklahoma State needs to get off to a big win early if they want any chance to have a special season. You can't struggle through these games. I can uh, I can understand that. Okay. Next up for me, Syracuse and Liberty. It's on Saturday, August 31st, 5 p.m. on ESPN+. Plus. So if you hadn't got your subscription yet, I would recommend you go on and do that. Williams Stadium in Lynchburg, Virginia. Dino Babers and Hugh Freeze. This screams the over, right? Currently, it is at 68. I'll take the 68. I'm going over 68 here. Liberty average total points per game last year was 70.08. That's for the whole game. For Syracuse, it was 67.23. Liberty quarterback Buckshot Calvert had 29 touchdowns last year. He will be able to score on the Syracuse defense. Dino Babers, Tommy DeVito, that I trust him to be able to find a way to put up points against non-conference teams last year other than Notre Dame, of course. They hung points on everybody. everybody. That's right. They were scoring in the, the upper 40s and 50s, sometimes in the 60s. I think they will continue to do that. The fact that this is only 68, I can get there by I, I can cover with 38 to 31. Yeah. You know, now I think that they'll beat Liberty worse than that, but it is Hugh Freeze. And we know that he likes offense. We know that Dino likes offense. I'm going over 68 on this one. Mississippi State, Louisiana, Lafayette in New Orleans. Or just Louisiana, right? Well, the, the, <laughs> the book lines still say UL Lafayette. Um, plus 20 and a half, I'm Ooh. taking Louisiana. Wow. Still laying 110, standard juice. I, I'm going to put 50, 50 bucks on, the, on that game. I oh, Mississippi yeah. State's I, got a little bit of I'm cake. doing 50 on the Liberty thing. Yeah. Mississippi State's got a little bit of... Turmoil going on with some players that are going to be suspended. Don't know how much that's going to affect things. I think Louisiana's a good team. 
I think they're going to be a tough team, and and they're you know they compete for for SEC. We talk about this with Mac playing Big Ten opponents all the time. You know these are guys that didn't get into the big school and they kind of take these things personal. Um, I think Mississippi State's going to be good this year. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to win the game. But are they going to beat them by three touchdowns? I don't know that I'm ready to say that yet. That defense lost more talent than they've ever had on the team. Yeah. Not not more talent than they've ever lost. They've never had the amount of talent that they've just lost. That is that is game-changing um, um, situation that Mississippi State's going to be going through. Uh, I think their offense is going to be fine. But like I said... Louisiana's going nowhere. They're gonna they're gonna show up to play this game. It's in New Orleans. They're gonna be people there to watch them. Um, and 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 I I just don't know that Mississippi State's beating them by twenty one. I can uh, I can understand that. Uh, next up for me, Ole Miss and Memphis. Saturday, August thirty first. It's uh it's an eleven a.m. ABC national game. This is a big deal. It is right here. We're in Memphis. Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium, Ole Miss, number 121 total defense last year, number 113 scoring defense, and they actually lost talent off of that team. Uh, Memphis, number 89 total defense, number 94 scoring defense. They got a lot of the same guys coming back, so they should be a little better. Ole Miss should be a little better. I don't think any of it matters. Look, under Mike Norvell against Power 5 teams, the point totals for full games. Against Ole Miss in 2016, it was 78. Against Kansas, it was 60. Against UCLA, it was 93. Uh, Iowa State was 41, but the, the different circumstance. Against Missouri last year was 98. Against Wake was 71. These are two offensive teams with good defensive coordinators now that are going to take a little time to figure out that personnel. Norvell against Rich Rod is going to be fireworks. Yep. Absolute fireworks, especially that early in the morning. 37 to 31 gets you over the 67 and a half. I'm taking the 67 and a half at 50 bucks minus 110. Who are you rolling with next? My next game is a game that I was hesitant to take until we were doing the preview and I had them on my sheet. I crossed them off my sheet because I don't like taking road favorites. Yes. Um and and then I saw that the juice is going the wrong way. The majority of the money, the majority of the bets are all coming in on North Carolina. The number is getting bigger for South Carolina. South Carolina today, just this morning, went from seven and a half to or, sorry, eight and a half to ten. Yeah. In in one day, we were recording this on Tuesday, the twenty seventh. South Carolina. I saw the number get bigger, and I thought, man, everybody's betting South Carolina. I gotta get off that. Everybody's not, not. Bet, everybody's not betting South Carolina, and still the juice is getting bigger. Give me South Carolina. Give me Muschamp. I wouldn't put one red nickel on Mac Brown right now. I got to see it. I don't know that that man still has anything left in the tank. He might. I could be proven wrong. I've been wrong before. Give me 50 bucks. It's minus 110 on South Carolina laying 10. Next up for me, a road favorite. Georgia. Minus 21 at Vanderbilt. Now, Saturday, August 31st, it's a 6.30 p.m. game on SEC Network. It's at Vanderbilt Stadium. It's in Nashville. The last two years, 41-13 to in Athens, 45-14 to in Nashville in 2017. I think Kirby has a foul taste in his mouth from losing to Derek Mason's bunch in his first season at Georgia. Vandy at home against SEC East teams the last two seasons, only one and five against the spread. The talent gap here is way too big, especially with a brand new starting quarterback for Vanderbilt. You got a fresh guy in there going against that defense. I understand that Vanderbilt has some skill weapons. I think Georgia's got skill weapons too. Well, yeah, Georgia's one so, of the their top, defense top is... Top five teams in, in the country. That's what I'm saying. The fact that this line is only 21... Now, I, I originally got it at 20 and a half, but for the show's purposes, it's sitting at 21. I'm rolling with the 21 at minus 110. I think Georgia demolishes this team in week one. I think they come out to prove a point after blowing the Alabama game and then hearing everybody talk crap after that Texas Sugar Bowl. How much... You 50 on. bucks. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. By the way, week one, we don't know these teams yet. So 
I'm going to roll with one unit on each of these plays for now until I, until I see them with my own eyes. And that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. I've got YouTube TV, by the way, who should be paying us for advertising. YouTube TV is incredible. I've got every game set up to DVR. Every game. All of them. It's amazing. Because I can go back and watch anything that I have missed. I'm, I'm really excited about it. What you got next? So I've done $50 for my first three bets. Now we're getting to the games that I like. Okay. I like a lot. Houston, Oklahoma. It, it was 22. Now it's 24. 23 and a half basically everywhere. I, 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 don't, I don't care if it's 22. Don't care if it's 23. Don't care if it's 24. I think this Oklahoma team is going to be good. I think Houston's offense is going to be really good. I don't think the Oklahoma can stop them. I don't see how they beat them by four scores. I just don't know how that gets there if your defense can't stop them from scoring. Not saying you can't win the game. Not saying you won't kind of whip their butt. But beating them by four scores when you can't stop them from scoring, I don't see happening. Dana Holgerson has one of the most talented quarterbacks that he's ever been able to coach, I believe, and a crazy, stupid, loaded receiving core that he, I don't think he's ever had. Yeah, you're okay? right. This might be the best skill players that he's ever gotten to coach. The most of them, maybe not the single best player, but just the lot. And I think they're going to show up and and not be intimidated at all by Oklahoma. He knows what they do. He coached against Lincoln Riley the last couple of years. He's not afraid of him. And I get four, I get four scores. Come on, man. It's it's, it's minus one ten. I'm putting seventy five on that one. I, I I really 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 like uh, Houston in this game. I'm not giving. I will. I'll go ahead and give it here because it's not a lot. I'm probably going to put 25 bucks, half a unit, something like that, on the money line. You can give me that. That money line is da, 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 plus, plus 1150. 1150. Whew. Plus 1150 for $25. Boom. All right. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. Next for me, Northwestern, plus six and a half at Stanford. This is also Saturday, 3 p.m. on Fox. It's at Stanford Stadium in Palo Alto, California. Most beautiful land in the world other than Memphis, Tennessee. Northwestern 12-1 against the spread as a true road underdog in the last four seasons. Stanford secondary, suspect at best. If they load the box to slow down Isaiah Bowser, it doesn't matter to me which quarterback it is. I believe the quarterbacks can beat them because I think Northwestern's offensive line is improved. I trust Pat Fitzgerald over David Shaw, at least in this point in time, or at this point in time. Um, I think that K.J. Costello, without his his sidekick, without J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, it's going to take a little time to find the guy that he trusts. I am all over Northwestern here. Uh, I am going with the plus six and a half. I'm not going straight up this week, but I, I expect big things from Northwestern so it, it, the rest of the year. So uh, 50 bucks at minus 110 for Northwestern plus six and a half. I won't bore you with all the same stats, same information. I'm going the exact same way. The difference is I'm putting $150 on this one. Ooh. I love this game. I'm put, Give me $50 on the money line plus 205. Let's see. Northwestern, 50 bucks, or no, 150 bucks on plus six and a half. Yes, sir. And then... 50 bucks on the money line? Yes, sir. At plus 205. I I, I mean, all the Ooh. things that you said, I think Northwestern's going to win the game. Okay. I think they're the better team from top to bottom. I think they've recruited better. There's a reason they're the better team. I think I think the recruiting at Stanford has fallen off. I think no, we're finally a- seeing what this team looks like many years after Harbaugh has left. They had momentum. Shaw was able to ride that momentum. I don't know that they've got dudes coming in. Northwestern is is competing in the Big Ten with guys, and 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 I just don't know that I don't know that those conferences are equal. Was that your last bet? That is my last bet. Do me a favor. Look up the Oregon money line. 
It's going to be small. Oregon plus 3.5, plus 3.5 against Auburn. It's in AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, 6.30 p.m. ABC on Saturday night. Oregon plus 3.5. I am putting 50 bucks on Oregon, minus 110. Uh, Oregon. What, 115? 115. Or no, that's 150. Plus no. 150. Oh, minus 115. Your juice is 150. It's been 150 Thank for you. a while. All right, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, Oregon, your money line is going to be 150. So 50 bucks minus 115. I am going to put 25 on the plus 150 as well. So that'll be eight bets there this week. Plus 150 straight up for what? What did I say? $25? Yep. 25 And of course, you'll be able to get this on the spreadsheet over at winningcureseverything.com. Yeah, if you miss anything or we talk through it in a weird way that you didn't catch it all, It'll go be to the there. website. The spreadsheet that Gary has put together, I mean, it's dummy proof. I can figure it out. It's dummy proof. Let me let me explain the Oregon situation. Number one in returning experience, this is an SEC offensive line that Mario Cristobal has put together. They should be able to slow down Auburn's defensive line. Senior quarterback versus a freshman quarterback that favors Oregon. Uh, Cristobal has four years of experience as Saban's offensive line coach, in which they went 3-0 and in his last three years there. Oregon faced three top 15 defenses in 2018. That's Cal, Washington, and Utah. They went 2-1 and one straight up and against the spread. They averaged 32.33 points per game. Yes, I understand this is not SEC speed, whatever that they're talking about. I think that they are ready for this game. I think Cristobal has them ready. I think Oregon wins the game straight up, and I like them plus the 3.5. So 25 bucks on plus 150 straight up and 50 bucks on uh, plus 3.5. Now, my last game, my last bet, Houston and Oklahoma, over 82.5. Uh, sorry, no, 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 it's 82 now, right? 82. We swapped that up just earlier. Yep. Over 82, that's on Sunday at 6.30 p.m. on ABC Memorial Stadium in Norman, Oklahoma. Dana Holgerson, Lincoln Riley, tempo means points galore. Both defenses are suspect, even with new defensive coordinators. Oklahoma lost their best defensive back, Trey Norwood, to a knee injury. A total this high used to mean that it was an immediate under. Not with these two teams, right? Oklahoma last year, number one total offense, 570 yards per game. Number one scoring offense, 48.4 points per game. Houston was number seven in total offense at 512.5 yards per game and number five in scoring at 43.9 points per game. These two teams like to score. They've got good quarterbacks. They've got great skill players. Both lines should be okay. Oklahoma, I understand, is replacing four NFL guys. They're not going to be as good, but you don't have to be against this Houston defense. Neither team is going to be able to stop each other. Over the 82 is the play here. I love it. I'm putting 50 bucks on that, minus 110, and that's going to wrap it up. That's going to wrap it up. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. Go to the gambling pick section. You can click on our bets. You will see exactly what we are rolling with this week for how much and how much we are going to win when both of us go 7, 8, and 0, 6, and 0, whatever it is. When we, when we profit all this, it's going to be fantastic. Make sure that you go and enter the picks contest. It's over on the site, football picks contest. It's also down in the description if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment with your favorite picks this week and tell us why. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear what you think about our picks. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever, especially Apple Podcasts, leave a nice review. Leave a five-star review. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and then click unsubscribe and resubscribe again. Make, make that algorithm work, man. Do what you do. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I am so pumped. I am so ready. All right. Thank you to Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination, for bringing you guys the show. Go check them out, tunicatravel.com. They've got some fantastic stuff going on at their six incredible sports books down there. We love you guys. We will see you all again next week. Are you kidding me? Thanks for checking That's out Winning Cures Everything. Thing. If you want to I keep up with us, <laughs> hit subscribe on YouTube Week or your favorite jitters. podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.